I'm Roberta. And I'm Duke. And after two years bringing this sailboat that was neglected for over 22 years back to life, it's finally time to start exploring. So don't forget to subscribe and to join us every Sunday for a new episode. You still don't know where we are going? <laughs> There are so many little islands and bays on this place that we have no idea. We just know that the wind's good, we are sailing and that's it. We're gonna go that way towards Paraty. You'll see by the end of the video. <laughs> we are gonna see as well. <laughs> as you guys probably know right now, we always change plans. Our plan was to visit a couple places in Ilha Grande before going back to Paraty. But we heard that some friends of ours were in Paraty. And also the wind was so good for a relaxing sail. So, instead of waiting and motoring a few days later, we decided to go straight to an anchorage close to the town. It's really good, we're doing 5.5 knots and there's only 10.6 knots of wind. Perfect sailing. Today we have the wind coming from the stern and, and look at this. Seems like there's no wind, but you look back and there's a lot of white, you know, foam so that there's wind. And inside the boat seems like we are anchored. We can walk around and it's not shaking it's not moving it's pretty good our new favorite snack corn <laughs> successful jive gabby from to share friend said if you want to do a jive first you bring the boat 175 degrees to the wind and then you bring the boom to the center and then you just turn like five to seven degrees and then you just let it go the boom again and in this way it's not like a huge like you know strong jive actually it did work a lot thanks so much man So calm here inside that I decided to cook some brigadeiro for us. I'm gonna open up this more general. We are trying to go wingo wingo even though we don't have the spinner capo. And we had five minutes with no wind and now the wind just shifted. Now it's south wind. It's just the opposite side, so we need to reconfigure the sails. It's all good. <laughs> Luca just put the center board up because the depth here is not that good, it's like 3.5 meters right now. Not all the way yet, it's just <laughs> halfway. <laughs> halfway. Halfway, we were anchoring now. Oh, the rest. Because our depth is 2.7, but there is one extra meter there because oh, of the okay. sensor, so it's like we are four and a half now. Okay. <laughs> And after 6 hours and 31 nautical miles, here we are! We thought we were not going to even sail today, and that was a great sail actually. Yeah. Half, half the way was sailing, half the way was motor sailing, it was all good. So now we're going to go to town by dinghy, we decide to anchor here, and we're going to ride the dinghy all the way to town, and we're going to do some bureaucracy. I think the worst part of living on a boat is not the boat itself, is not the weather. The lack of address, I think, is the worst. And also the lack of means of going to the bank, of going to this place and that place. And so now, for the past month, we've been trying to organize our personal lives. It's what we are doing today. Seems that we found a place to yeah. leave the boat. <laughs> There's a small marina here, they let us just tie to this boat. 
really cool that somehow things get organized by itself. We're yeah. just passing by the channel and the guy look at me and I'm like, oh, he made eye contact. So let's ask him, <laughs> do I have any place I can park the dinghy? He's like, no, just put it next to this boat and it's fine. We just need to make sure we know where to come back to. Now we know where to come back to. <laughs> Couldn't close our accounts because the system is off. Yeah, we do the whole thing. We come all the way to here. We get the ding. We come to town. There is always something on the bank. We've been trying to close this account for, I would say, at least a month. one month. We're going to do it. We cannot even say, if this doesn't work, I'm going to close my account <laughs> because we're going to close anyways. After some food, can we imagine where we are going? To the supermarket, of course. <laughs> food always. Is That's so all we need for food. <laughs> We're gonna try to amplify our 4G signal because we use a 4G modem for internet on the boat and here on the region we are we don't even have internet a lot of times so this is an antenna that you put the 4G ship on it and expands the I don't know the antenna so this is made for like countryside like when you have like a farm and the internet won't get there easily so you buy this so I'm trying to figure out how to install of course it's not the exactly a hundred percent perfect place it's gonna be a little bit sideways but we would need like a something out and it's just we're not gonna have it now so I'd rather have this in place right now and then we fix in the future because right now we do need internet by the way before you say that this is on the way of the AIS antenna this AIS antenna is not installed properly it's not right and it's also not even connected this is gonna be higher and it's gonna be straight it's just it's a future project why it is the problem is that the deck after the wind that we had a few days ago it's really salty, so we don't want anything touching the deck of the boat. And we don't want to waste our fresh water for now. <laughs> we were, yeah, we were waiting for the rain, but the rain didn't come yet. <laughs> To go outside and we need to install the sim card on the other antenna it's pretty today isn't it bad news i think we need to break this into a small ship it's possible but if we do that and we don't manage to install the antenna that means we have no wi-fi anymore until we get another ship and this comes from our hometown this would be a completely mess we need to risk I'm that's nervous. it yeah but I think we're gonna take out from here and do inside otherwise i'm gonna let this fall on the water The solution was easier than we thought. Putting there is one thing. Making this whole thing work is a completely different thing. But I was nervous about the SIM card. I can see the network. This network is here. Put this in place and hope it works. Hmm. <laughs> Seems like we, are, we have a network. Let's see if I can open a YouTube video. There is a channel that I really like that I might try to watch. Or live crafting. And the internet is so much better. That's a win. We have a nice Wi-Fi. The internet today was just like, terrible. terrible. It's so good. It's something. We do have internet now. Really excited. We can upload a video for you guys now. Yay! Yay! <laughs> We are going to start the day with a new project as we have been postponing projects outside as it's been too hot. Time to work outside. Only one correction, that's not a new project. 
That's an old one that we actually stopped on the middle because it was moving too much the boat in here. Just like, <laughs> seems so like you're in a marina, so. Yeah. Just so you understand, this is a guide for the reefing line. So the reefing line won't rip the sail. It goes to the side, through this, down to the block, into the cockpit. that I hope is gonna be easier to reef the main sail because supposedly this reef is like one line reef that we can reef from the cockpit I'm not 100% sure I like it yet but we're gonna keep trying a little bit more before if we decide to change to a regular reefing system but for now we're gonna try this way and see what happens project of the day check as you guys might know we love having friends on board and today our friends coming with her daughter it's gonna be so cool oh yeah the idea was to stay one day in Parachi and then to move on but once again plans change we ended up spending two weeks in the same place and we loved it in between friends sunsets barbecues many tattoos we also managed to get a lot of boat work done a beautiful day to work outside so today we are gonna cross another item on our to-do list and we are gonna fix finally the boom brake as you can tell it's all I don't know temporarily attached <laughs> and also it goes to this block so instead of that we're gonna have one simple low friction ring and on the back I'm gonna take this old one and I'm gonna attach this one we're gonna do exactly the same thing on both sides that means we can control the boom brake from each side that's gonna be much better so let's do it that's so cool that looks just awesome so all I need to do now is to measure 25 centimeters here and then I need to give some slack so I can tighten it up in the toe rail and then I need to do just the finishing so this won't open up I want all the pressure to be on the toe rail and not on the guard rail so the top one is gonna be a lot thinner and looser. It's just to hold in place, so to make sure this won't hit the deck. It's gonna make sense in the end. I decide to do this whipping just to guarantee that the inside part won't come out. I did the ending. <laughs> just need to repeat this one more time. And it's already done. Yeah, it's awesome. I love when I do a project that I'm actually proud. I'm gonna skip all this spicing and I'm gonna show you installing all this mess in place to make sense. But for now, I'm gonna take a break because I have something really cool to do. I'm gonna pick up someone that we had no idea was gonna be here today. <laughs> and he just sent us a message yesterday saying, I'm arriving in Parachi, I wanna see you guys. You know him because he stayed a while with us and he's gonna come back to what for the first time outside of the marina, that's so cool. So, Duke is gonna pick up <laughs> Oh, I was gonna do a surprise, you don't need to tell who I'm gonna pick up, it's just a surprise. We can put a beep and then... <laughs> oh yeah, that's true, yeah. We're gonna see when he arrives. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you remember, Bad but Victor spent two months with us in Guarujá <laughs> while we were refitting out. Bad news! What? Gas what? is over. This, the, the gas, gas is, is over. over. Yeah. No. Seriously? Seriously. <laughs> oh man, we need to buy gas. So they are going to the fish market to get some gas. This is the second time we need to replace the gas bottle and usually it's taking like five months to be over. So it's, I think it's good. And after half an hour they are arriving. It's raining now. They're, they might be really wet. <laughs> yes. And now we feast. No leaks. Let's eat then. It's funny because Victor see a lot of difference. For us, that's how odd looks like. For Victor, that's not how odd looks like. Because no when he bimini. was there, yeah, was there was no bimini. In, a lot of things were different. Well, my bed looks more like a couch now. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be a couch. The painter is new. Oh. The internet's new. We have internet now. Ah, cool. yeah. Oh, this is new too. Ah, this is new. Yeah. Like yeah not this is new. Room. The that's lights. 
Yeah. It was so cool to meet him again and this time with the boat anchored in a beautiful place. To mark these moments we spent together, he decided to have another tattoo and this one was a cool one. I'm gonna try something different today. I wanna do a tattoo of a paper boat. I wanna do it with the drawing of the paper itself. So I'm cutting a old chart and I'm gonna create the boat, take a picture and try to draw the same boat but with all the, you know, the details on the paper. That looks awesome. And as he lived in Odd for a while... This is Odd made with a paper chart from Odd. It's gonna be an odd tattoo, right? I guess so, let's see. I'm pretty sure it's one of the coolest one I have ever done. Time to finish some work. <laughs> yeah, it's always like that, we start something and we don't finish, but today the goal is to finish the whole uh, boom brake system. And I'm gonna replace this line, even though this is really thick and it's really thin. This is Dyneema, so I'm gonna have like three loops of Dyneema. And this one used to be on the boat when you bought it, so it's like 30 years old maybe. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> That's so, so much better. This used to be like all crooked because of the thickness of the line, would never stay on the right position. And I think now that it's straight because of the thinner line, but really strong as it's Dyneema. I think it's gonna work much better for both sides. On the other time, it was like sometimes for one side would work well, the other side would like this not work that well. I think it's gonna be much better now. Let's keep going. So now we can basically control the boom brake from the cockpit, you know, like from here. Yes. That's it. That's it. Pretty good, huh? So what we need to do now is to do exactly the same thing on the other side, but we don't need to show you the same thing twice. Let's consider this. Check. So Duke is going to stay here, I thought, to fix Fernand's tattoo. It's He's not odd. It's odd tattoo studio. Yeah, today Odd is a tattoo studio, so I have a client today. I need to work. <laughs> so Duke is going to stay here to fix the Fernando's tattoo that was his third tattoo? I yeah, don't know, I the logo was, one? Yeah, it, it was like right in the beginning of my career as a <laughs> tattoo artist, so I have some retext to do. <laughs> so I'm going with Fernando to get some water because we are running out of water and there is a place here to get water and I'm gonna use their bottles, their I containers. Think I think it's been like three weeks already since last time we yeah. filled up the tank, so it's pretty good. That's your camera. So It'll work well. Okay, I'm going with this one. <laughs> See you. See you later. Coming from there, in another place. Fernanda said that the beach is not always like this, but there was a lot of rain last week and it's a lot of branches and pieces of trees. She's not even recognizing the beach. And here is the other. It's also a good place to wash clothes and everything. 
onde tem as repinhas, ó. Pra fazer uma delícia. Esse garoto fane. Shower. Cold one. And we also can drink this water. And you can wash clothes. Kilos more. And just like that, we have water again. Ready. I think I recognize these glasses. Working glasses. Of course, we don't play only. Now it's time to work. I need to help Fernando with something for his boat. We need to trim this piece of wood. And then as he's here, I'm going to help him. He's going to help me to finish the spacer for the winch that I'm working on because it broke. And then it's, we're good on vacations again. How good it is to have the proper tools on the boat? That's just <laughs> awesome. We have like Wait three, three places with tools, but they are handy. Yeah, three hundred <laughs> kilos of tools. <laughs> Need more. Actually, this is wood from odd from yeah. thirty years ago. <laughs> yeah, this was one of the spacers on the chain locker for the anchor, and we didn't use this one, so at some point it was going to be useful. We broke a spacer inside of the other winch, so we took this one and used it on that one because we use that more often. And now I just made this little spacer. Now all we need to do is to clean because this looks terrible. Yeah. The thing is, we never use this winch, that's it. basically for the Genoas, I mean one of the Genoas. And as we don't use, you know, like the friction of the line on the winch always keeps it from getting rust. And after more than an hour using this wipe and my nails, look how it looks. So much better. Time to fill up the tank. <laughs> First one of six is going. Take a little while. Our friends are coming to get the jugs back. Instead of coming with the dinghy, they're coming with the whole boat. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> boat life. <laughs> what does that mean? We need to do maintenance in beautiful places. <laughs> yeah, that's what cruising is all about. We are always, always doing something. The last time I opened the sail bag, this came off. But in order to put this back in, we need to take this line off so we can put this back in place and then we need to sew back again in order not to rip apart again. Okay, it worked. Yep, but now we need to sew it and by hand. One last item on the list. We are moving. After two weeks in the same place. <laughs> we are moving today because we are going to go towards the next destination. The thing is we realize that when we are floating we just keep postponing and postponing and we have some really 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 important projects that we need to deal with 
before we start going north and we're gonna take one month to do that and also because one of our patrons from the US is coming to stay 10 days in Brazil in our boat and that's just so cool and we need to have a shower for him so we're gonna take a month in the marina get the boat ready we need to work again on the autopilot we're gonna talk about that later we're gonna fix this time for real because we're gonna be in the marina wait more about it. that soon wait for it so if you like boat work get ready 